Hi. Anti-corrosion treatment of the body, solid. For the entire life of the model in Russia, rust foci have not yet appeared. Even the area under the decorative trim on the trunk lid does not suffer. The quality of the paintwork corresponds to the price level of the car. The rear manual windows have a feature. To completely close the window, you need to tighten the handle to the characteristic stop, otherwise the glass may spontaneously lower, a gap of a couple of millimeters will appear if water can enter the cabin through it, and the noise level also increases noticeably. The time-tested gasoline engine Renault 1.6 K4M is one of the most reliable and unpretentious in the class. With reasonable operation, it can take care of up to 400,000 kilometers behind him. There are only a couple of features and minor flaws, for example, a rather noisy operation. The most common malfunction is that the gaskets of the throttle pipe dry out. Because of this, air leaks occur and the idle speed begins to float, and there are also their hanging or spontaneous jumps in various driving modes. Similar symptoms appear when the inlet pipe gaskets dry out, but already on runs over 100,000 kilometers ignition coils have a short service life. Fortunately, they are inexpensive. Often you have to change thermostats due to significant fluctuations in the temperature of antifreeze. According to Nissan's regulations, the timing belt must be changed every 60,000 kilometers, although for Renault cars with the same engine, the interval has been increased to 90,000. It is better to play it safe and follow the recommendations of the Japanese manufacturer, because when the belt breaks, the valves inevitably suffer. The 4-speed automatic of the DP2 family is a modernized version of the long-suffering DP0AL4 unit, which has earned a bad reputation. Engineers have significantly increased the reliability of the updated box, but they could not fix all the inherent flaws. The DP machine does not tolerate high loads and even minor overheating. Long driving on bad roads with frequent slippage significantly reduces the resource of the box, but subject to gentle operation and oil changes every 60,000 kilometers, it can live up to 200,000 kilometers. One of the characteristic sores is the short service life of the solenoids that control the pressure in the hydraulic system of the machine. Quite often they have to be changed before 100,000 kilometers when the solenoids fail, jerks and kicks appear when shifting gears, as well as when the selector is moved from neutral to drive or reverse. When the first symptoms appear, it is important not to delay the visit to the service so that this malfunction does not pull other breakdowns. Usually both solenoids are changed at once so as not to pay for the work again. The DP machine is characterized by a modest potential of the cooling system. At high loads and overheating, clutch packs burn out first. Major repairs are very expensive. The 5-speed manual transmission of the JH3 series is reliable and has no characteristic sores. If breakdowns occur, it is usually due to inadequate operation. To extend the service life, servicemen advise adhering to the old service regulations, which prescribed oil changes every 90,000 kilometers. A characteristic drawback of cars on the B0 platform is weak steering tips. Often they have to be changed after 50,000 kilometers. Tie rods usually go twice as long. On Almora, as well as on the first generation Logan, power steering oil is squeezed out through the pressure sensor. Many owners plug the hole in the line under the sensor, as often the story repeats itself after replacing it. The absence of a sensor is manifested only in a noticeable drawdown in engine speed when the steering wheel is turned all the way and is held in this position for some time. It is possible for oil to leak through the low-pressure power steering line at the rolling points. The problem area is located near the tube attachment to the subframe. With this, possible problems with steering are exhausted. Front and rear shock absorbers tenacious. The need to change them rarely arises up to 100,000 kilometers. The exhaust system has two weak points. Usually, after 60,000 kilometers, the brackets for attaching the track to the body rot, the middle one on the resonator and the rear one on the muffler. It also happens that up to 100,000 kilometers it is necessary to open the resonator due to the fallen off internal partitions, which begin to make a characteristic noise. The only frank drawback of the suspension is the low service life of the ball bearings of the front levers. 
Quite often they do not even live up to 50,000 kilometers they cannot be replaced separately. You need to buy levers in the assembly. It's good that their price is low. Until April 2013, two short front caliper hoses were installed on the conveyor. There is a possibility that they can break when the wheels are turned all the way at the moment of heavy unloading of the front suspension. The manufacturer quickly figured out the defect and began to install longer hoses. Logan's heritage of the first generation is the design of the internal CV joint of the left drive with a fixed anther and an external oil seal with a bearing. This seal still leaks very often, especially in winter. However, do not rush to buy a repair kit if there are signs of fogging. Often it stops progressing, but new elements can again become snotty next winter. Where resistance of some interior elements is mediocre. The steering wheel, the selector knob of the manual gearbox, as well as the trim of the driver's seat are quickly overridden. The side bolsters suffer first of all. On Almora, as well as on Logan of the first generation, the frog under the brake pedal often burns out the brake lights stop working. Right stock failure is a common occurrence. Most often, the intermittent wiper mode stops working, and its complete failure is also possible. On the center console, various backlights often burn out. The leaders are the stove block and the power window keys. Fortunately, all lamps are available as separate parts. The noisy operation of the heater fan at the third or fourth speeds is a design feature that you have to put up with. Obvious extraneous sounds are usually caused by debris getting into its body. It is not always possible to blow out debris with compressed air, and then the fan will have to be removed, and for this it is necessary to dismantle the front panel and the heater module. To ensure that this does not happen, you need to install a protective mesh on a large air intake under the jabot, which does not have adequate protection against foliage. The unpleasant creaking of the front seats can have two sources, springs or seat belt buckle fasteners. In both cases, silicone grease helps. The springs must be lubricated at the points of attachment to the frame, and it is advisable to remove the lock in order to properly process the washer, which ensures its mobility on the side of the seat. An assembly flaw that occurs in cars of the first years of production is the incorrect installation of the heater unit. At the same time, either the condensate drain holes on the module and in the body, or their rubber sealing gasket, are displaced. As a result, water enters the passenger compartment and accumulates at the front passenger's feet. You will have to remove the front panel to center the heater block or reinstall the gasket, but in some cases it is possible to get by with minimal gestures without disassembling the interior. Similar mistakes were made by the assemblers of pre-styling dusters at the Capitol's Renault plant. A decrease in the performance of the air conditioner may be due to a malfunction of the pressure sensor in the system circuit. At the same time, the compressor starts to turn off periodically, especially in traffic jams in summer. The failure is not massive, but this sensor can be called a weak point. The original sensor is assembled with a fragment of the line, but there are also separate substitutes on the market. The front panel of the Almera has a peculiarity. Due to overheating in the sun, it can warp in the area of the windshield deflectors. With a low temperature effect, the irregularities are poorly distinguishable visually, but they are clearly palpable. With significant overheating, they are already conspicuous, but when cooled, they are again partially masked. Some of the front panel was changed under warranty. Moreover, several cases are described on the forums when a new panel also led. If you know of other breakdowns or malfunctions, then tell us about it in the comments. Your review can help others when choosing a used car.